What's going on, y'all? Uh, I'm going to show you how to use input quantize in Studio One. So I've got a lead part that I played here. It's this bottom yellow track, and I played it without input quantize, and it sounds like this. So obviously that's not on beat and would need to be quantized. So you know, generally we open this up and you know go to quantize and quantize it, and you'll see you see it shift here. With input quantize, I'm just gonna undo that. And with input quantize, it's gonna quantize as you record. Uh, so to enable that, you're gonna get to your record panel. If you look down at the bottom, the record panel. Uh, on a Mac, Option, Shift, and R, it's going to open up that record panel. And under record mode, you have an option to uh, select input quantize. So now, as I play, it's going to quantize as I play, so I don't have to quantize after I play. Uh, so now, if I play it again, and I uh, open it up, it's now already quantized. Let's take out that bad note there. But yeah, so input quantization is gonna imp it's going to quantize as you record it, uh, which just saves you some time if you prefer to work that way. And of course, whatever quantized value you select here is what it's going to quantize to as you play. So that's how you use input quantize in Studio One. Any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time. I want to invite everyone to check out my new podcast, The Faders Up Podcast. It's a podcast about pro audio. I've got me and three other Nashville professionals. We're discussing pro audio, pro audio topics, pro audio lifestyle. And it's available on Apple Podcasts and it's available on Spotify. So check it out, rate it, let me know what you think.